you bring in so many different um, approaches, styles of music, performers, uh, yeah. West Coast, East Coast, you know, European world music, uh, and it makes it it makes it such a joy to listen to because you are always expanding the horizons for the listener. Thank you for saying, saying that. Yeah. And when you find a uh, uh, a guide through the fields to say, have you looked at this? Have you listened to this? Have you um, explored uh, this person or this style? Uh, it um, it just brings joy to my heart uh, with the way that you approach it. Mm. So thank you. Well, thank you for that. Uh, you know, I. I've kind of gone through some uh, some changes at at, at QLM uh, because my interests had been pretty much in the cutting edge kind of stuff, you know, what some people would refer to as the avant garde. And when I first started uh, doing radio shows for QLN, my interests were generally with regard to the the newer stuff. Uh, what in the 70s would have been called loft jazz, people coming together from uh, pretty exploratory areas of the music. But that's not necessarily radio friendly. So some of the music that might uh, be very effective in a, in a live performance venue don't work as well for a general listenership. So one of the things that I've had to learn is how to um, make sure that there's a combination of the familiar music, the music that people tend to know and respond to um, and feel comfortable with, and yet introduce them to the newer stuff. 